It's chaotic. Dishing out supplies in a cramped and crowded food bank. Organisers say they're overwhelmed because it's not just locals who are struggling to survive. Yeah. Come on, sit down. Come, come inside. Sit down here. Some of these people have recently arrived from Nigeria but got here to find the jobs they were sponsored for don't exist. Sky News has already shown how skilled worker visas are being abused and middlemen are making large sums of money exploiting this legal route to the UK. Now we can reveal how people who thought they were coming here to work are falling destitute. Most are reluctant to talk. They feel despair at their predicament. This woman, who we're calling Blessing, hasn't been given any shifts by the company which sponsored her since she arrived three months ago. I've always provided for myself. I'm a very hardworking, diligent person. So for me to be here, depending on people to eat, you know, coming to the food bank to get food, isn't, uh, isn't quite okay with me. It makes me feel I'm a less of a person, a human. I should be in the position of helping, not the receiving end, because this is not who I was back in my country. Blessing told us she paid an agent in Nigeria £10,000 to arrange a full-time job as a carer on a skilled worker visa. She asked us not to reveal the company which sponsored her, fearing repercussions. But we've seen other documentation supporting her account of what's happened. There is a big scam going on. A lot of people have been scammed every day, been deceived that we have jobs. How many people do you know who've come on skilled worker visas and got here and there's no work? Oh, I can't count. Yeah, I can't. There are so many, so many. I met a lot here and so many are still coming after I've come here. Dozens, hundreds? Oh, let me say dozens. Yeah, dozens, yeah. This woman also came from Nigeria and says she's had to move north to live with her sister because there's no work for her. They all say it's proving virtually impossible to find a new company to sponsor them for a full-time position. And having come as carers, under the terms of their visas, they can't work in any other job sector. We're calling this couple Joyce and Alan. They say they also paid an agent in Nigeria £10,000 to arrange employment for Joyce as a carer. I've been cheated. It has not been easy. I have to sell my car, sell my property, got a loan, took a lot of risk to raise up the money. How difficult is it to transfer to another company to get sponsored by somebody else? It's very difficult because most jobs you, you, you want to get, they will first of all tell you that actually you've got this offer from somewhere else, so maybe you should go back to that place to get your job. That's what the Hollies say. We are begging the government if they can look into it. The founder of the food bank says she's already under pressure feeding local people in a cost of living crisis. Nearly half the people you're yeah, supporting 15, are yeah. people who were given um, a visa to come to UK, come to UK without work. and then got here and there was no job. Yes, yes. Are you shocked by that? I am shocked because this has never happened in the UK before. So we are so surprised to see this happening for UK government. You know, and a lot of them sold their houses in Africa, sold their cars, sold their things. Because they, they thought go they were going to start a new and life, and they thought they are starting a new life here. Getting here, they got stopped. It's so, it's so. I'm sorry. It's so depressing. That's the word. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It is so depressing. Do you think it's a big issue? It's a very big issue. It's people that are not British citizens, people who came to the UK very recently. They are recently. Nigerians. They yeah. are not British. They have no other documents than the skilled visa that brought them into this country to come work. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. We'll let these people go out. Yeah. As we finish filming by the front door, two people scurry past with the food they've been given, disappearing into the rain in Rochdale in Greater Manchester. It's only afterwards we're told their story that they were too ashamed to speak to us. One of the women has hit rock bottom and is sleeping on a bus. Last week, we give her bread and tuna because that's what she can eat easily without cooking or warming. 
Now homeless, we're told the lady on the bus is yet another person who paid an agent in Nigeria to arrange care work in the UK and whose dreams of a new life are in tatters. Do you know if she was offered a full-time job? The certificate of sponsorship? Yes, yes. As, according, as according to and what she showed us, yeah. they offer her a full-time job and she can't go back home. She has nothing again at home. She sells, she sells everything that she has back home. She's in a bad way. Bad, bad one. Yeah. The lady on the bus is one of a huge number of people who've come to the UK from around the world on skilled worker visas. More than 170,000 in the 12 months to March this year, including 40,000 as carers. What we've found is just how widespread abuse of the skilled worker visa system is in different communities and around the country. Again and again, people telling us the same story. Some are getting here and finding there's no work. Others are using it as a route to reach Britain. We've also traced and spoken to a number of people who travelled to the UK on skilled worker visas from Pakistan and Bangladesh. They told us they feel too ashamed to be filmed and are afraid of being sent back. In a supermarket in Bradford in West Yorkshire, we're told people are coming into the store offering to work for next to nothing in exchange for food including some who also came on skilled worker visas but have no intention of working as carers and are using the system purely to reach Britain. Some of them were told before they arrived that you will have no jobs, you're only arriving here and they do pay a lot of money. And so it's a way to get to the UK? Just to get to the UK. It does shock me and it is frustrating. Um, who are you frustrated with? We're not only frustrated with the c people that are coming in uh, knowingly, we're also frustrated uh, with the government for creating this mess in the first place. We're told people are coming in off the streets looking for jobs, so poverty-stricken they're even offering to work for next to nothing in exchange for something to eat. Oh. They are very desperate. Some people, they come begging me, brother, give me some job because I don't have any food to eat. Um, and you get this every day? Every day, every week. Behind the scenes, the scale of the problem becomes clearer. Well, today's bin is already gone, so... Rejected CVs end up in the bin, but they say nearly half are from people on skilled worker visas not allowed to work in their shop. Anha explains what happened with a recent applicant. We've done an employer checking service uh, check and it's just come up with the work restrictions. So he is allowed to work in this country, he is legally here, however he's not allowed to work in this particular business. He's only here for skilled worker as a carer. The government says it has robust measures in place to ensure compliance with the immigration system and will take decisive action if employers break the rules, including by revoking sponsor licences. The reason they don't want to come out, firstly, embarrassment, but then secondly, on top of that, they just feel, obviously, they don't want to make themselves, you know, known. Mabeen runs a community cafe and food bank and says people's expectation of how things will be in the UK doesn't match the reality. I think a lot of people feel that they're going to come over here, they're going to start a new life, it's going to be a, a life where they're going to make lots of money, they're going to be living in lavish lifestyle, but it's nothing like that. It's just a, you know, a false dream, a misconception for them. And to be honest, in terms, I would put it as a scam. How strong do you think the government checks are at the moment? The level of checks are very weak. I think this is massive, to be honest. The government says abuse of the immigration system will not be tolerated. In a statement, the Home Office said, we have robust measures in place to ensure compliance. We will always take decisive action if employers break the rules, including by revoking sponsor licences when necessary. But for those now unable to support themselves after moving to Britain, serious questions remain about the dream being sold to some people using the skilled worker visa route to get here. Lisa Holland, Sky News.